Okay, all my glue is dry on everything. I've uh, tested my rubber band. It still slides easily. Um, our next step is to glue Kevlar across the holes. And these, this is going to be for tying the string on later. Um, it's kind of a two-step process. So get out your plastic, stretch it out nice and flat. And you're going to take your CA glue. You want to use thin, definitely thin on this. And we just want to Made a little mess there. I want to um, stiffen it with the CA glue. So I'll just take the CA. It's going to make it a nice and stiff. It's exactly what we want. I glued it to my finger there. There we go. Okay. Um, now we want to take and cut two one inch pieces. And I like to uh, stiffen it before I cut it. Um, the end always is a little bit frayed. Um, once you stiffen it up, you can cut that off. And it's, it's easier to cut once it has the glue in it. So I got my ruler out, measure one inch. Okay. And just take one of these and span it across the hole. If you can see that. And you want to just drop a little glue on there. And you can take the plastic bag and kind of use that to hold it down without sticking your finger to it. Should have my safety glasses on. I used to use metal um, for this, um, some music wire. But the music wire would always peel off. It wouldn't stick very well. Um, so I found that uh, Kevlar works a lot better. I'll use a little accelerator on there. And voila! For the most part, we're done. Um, our next step is to trim it for flight and um, after that, we want to prep it for flight by putting on the burn string and the rubber band. Um, so that will be in the future video.